This is a set of four equally charged 12 volt, 20 amp hour lead acid batteries. I'm going to show you how to wire them up in series and in parallel. Simply connect a jumper wire between the negative terminal on the first battery and the positive terminal on the second battery. It'll effectively make a 24 volt battery array. If you check the terminals, this should be 24 volts. This basically doubles the voltage but keeps the amperage the same. Likewise, if you continue the sequence and you connect the negative terminal of the second battery to the positive terminal on the third battery, you'll be making a 36 volt array. So again, series connection goes between the positive and negative. Continuing the process, I connect the negative terminal of number three to positive terminal number four. It should make a 48 volt battery pack between these terminals. Let's check our wiring. Using this voltmeter, I can now test the voltage between terminals. This gives you a nominal 12 volt. These terminals give you 24 volt. Between three batteries, a nominal 36 volt. And here is 48 volts. Now I'm going to show you how to wire these in parallel. I've got, again, a set of jumpers, and I'm going to connect the first two batteries in parallel by connecting both grounds together. And likewise, I'm going to use the other, in this case, red jumper. Now I'm going to connect the positive terminals together. And this array has doubled the amperage or amp hour rating. So if you're a fisherman and you have an electric trolling motor, you can double your runtime. Here I've wired up the first two batteries by connecting the negative terminals of both and the positive terminals of both. So here's a, a parallel setup. Let's check our wiring and test the voltage. Using a voltmeter, you can now test the voltage between these two terminals. 12 volts on these two terminals, which will be identical at 12 volts. So now I'm going to continue the process and add negative to negative, connect ground to ground, and positive to positive to create another parallel circuit. And so now instead of 20 amp hours, we have 40, 60 amp hours. The voltage remains constant at 12 volts. So now to continue with the same process, I'm going to connect the fourth battery in parallel. Black goes to black, red goes to red. It doesn't matter where you attach your motor or whatever. Uh, this is going to remain 12 volts at any of these terminal pairs. So here I've added the final jumpers and connected the fourth battery in parallel with the others. And so essentially we have a 12 volt system, but instead of 20 amps, we now have 40, 60, 80 amps. So if you're a fisherman and you're using an electric trolling motor, you can effectively quadruple your runtime in theory. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. Let's just say you're a fisherman and you've got a 24 volt trolling motor, but you really like the idea of staying out late and you want to keep fishing. So if you want to increase your runtime, 
Well, how do we do that? Well, first we create a set of 24 volt arrays, two of them, and then we're gonna attach these in parallel. So to increase the runtime of your 24 volt system, I've connected the two arrays in parallel with this jumper. And I'll connect a second jumper between these two terminals. So checking our wiring, we now have 24 volts here between these two terminals. And same thing over here between these two terminals. So this is where you hook up your motor. So if you're a fisherman with a 24 volt motor, you now have doubled your runtime by adding 24 volt systems in parallel.